All right, got a uh, quick video here. Here's a, a few little montage of some near rips and hell hardcore, just to see how kind of quickly you could die. I'm not having any issue killing anything, but survivability, it's a little scary right now. I'm currently level, I think, 79 in Act 2 Hell Hardcore. Thanks. And I threw up a quick TP here to save my mercenary. Also to go and clear off the uh, amp damage curse. So now we're going to do a little bit of amulet crafting and I decided to stop and do some amulet crafting here. Even though it's not an optimal level, um, character level, it'd be better if I was higher. I'd have a chance at uh, some better um, suffix or prefixes and suffixes or affixes. But there's a pretty decent chance I might die at any time, and I'll lose the ability to get a chance at really crafting anything, because it's worthless until you get to a certain level. So I was hoping to craft um, a caster amulet and belt here that you know, got a plus to paladin skills. That way I could swap out my uh, stealth body armor for uh, something with more defense and resists and still be hitting the same um, casting speed, cast faster cast rate breakpoint. Uh, I think I need about 17 it's either 13 or 17 between two items that can each roll 5 to 10. Or 5, the amulet can get up to 20%. I think I roll one um, that has 17% cast rate. But this is just an example of some of the amulets you can craft. And uh, I got some pretty decent ones, just nothing for a paladin, unfortunately. Um, but when I was gambling, I did get uh, resist all and plus resist all and plus something. It had a prefix and a suffix, so I'm using that right now, uh, which is one of the nice things when you're gambling uh, amulets to craft because you kind of get two shots at uh, something decent. So you can gamble. If it's good, keep it. Um, if it if it's crap, then try and use it for crafting. And I, I did get a teleport amulet, so I kept that. I may use it later for uh, farming before I uh, am able to get an enigma. So I got a few decent amulets um, off this gambling and crafting session here. The uh, recipe for the caster amulet is one Rao rune, one perfect amethyst, any amulet, magic amulet, and any jewel. And it doesn't matter any of the stats on the amulet or the jewel, um, you'll get the same result. So don't use any good ones, um, just use the junk that you don't need.
And I don't know about you guys, but I've had to make about five or six different mules so far just to try and... Uh, in hardcore, I like to hang on to a lot of the leveling gear, so if I if I die, I can level up another character easier and more efficiently and safer. Uh, I kind of treat hardcore just as if it's like a roguelite, like Dead Cells or something. Getting some, you know, extra gear. See, this this amulet was pretty good. Um, you know, like that. That's a not too bad. Uh, Elemental Druid Amulet right there. I think I crafted like three or four um, Druid Amulets that had somewhat decent stats on them. And I also ran out of Amnethysts and Rawl runes. Uh, which I thought I had quite a, a few. I thought I had enough that I wouldn't run out. Um, and now I'm having difficulty finding any more Amnethyst. Um, it doesn't seem like I'm getting any flawless Amnethyst to drop after I used all of it. So definitely you want to pick up all the jewels that you can. Um, I was hanging on to some of the flawless ones in case I needed those for crafting recipes, but inventory space is starting to become an issue for me. Like I said, I've made five or six mules, and one thing I really wish they would do is uh, take a page out of Path of Exile's book and sell some stash tabs. Like if they want to monetize this a little bit, um, I, I would happily pay, you know, five or ten bucks for an extra five or ten stash tabs. But mostly I've been farming in um, Act 1 Hell, killing Countess and Andariel. Um, Andariel is actually easier for me to farm than Countess. Um, Countess, the just getting to her is kind of dangerous for me. Uh, in the tight corridors is a hammered in. Sometimes I walk through a doorway and I'm just surrounded and will almost insta-die. Also, Countess is usually, uh, I think she might be always fire enchanted, so that kind of scares me because that's how my elemental druid ripped, was either a fire cold enchanted or just a cold enchanted monster. Um, apparently that's bugged, and in Nightmare it's more dangerous than in Hell, but I'm still not sure exactly how dangerous it is in hell, so I'm trying to avoid it altogether because I just don't want to die. And uh, my resists are lower. I know it does half fire and half physical damage. Um, so, and my resists aren't that high right now. I've only got about uh, 40 to 50 cold fire lightning resist, and then my poison resist is maxed. haven't really got any, you know, GG drops. I did get a string of ears, um, demon hide sa uh, sash, which is a really good, unique belt. Unfortunately, it was ethereal, so uh, if I make a, I'll probably make a barbarian next, because uh, that's my favorite class. I just wanted to get some, some decent items because barbarians are very gear dependent. So when I do, I can use that belt, but only temporarily since it will, uh, at one point it will just become destroyed. So that was kind of unfortunate uh, and disappointing. 
And here you can, I'm using the uh, towel cube recipe to get one more Rowl rune, um, to have one more shot at gambling an amulet. thought I would get something usable uh, a lot earlier than I, unfortunately I didn't get anything, I just ran out of uh, Amnethyst and Rowl runes. So uh, once I get some more, I'll try crafting again. Another druid amulet, that one was pretty good. Alright, so that was my last crafting attempt here. Uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and remember to give them the D.